Okay. Good morning once again. I will have to refer to my notes just to make sure that I actually uh, was is, uh, is able to tell you what I'm supposed to tell you this morning within the time allotted for me. Um, let's transport ourselves to 20 years from now and imagine what a typical day using AI would actually look like. You wake up to, you wake up to the sound of your smart clock, which adjusts the time based on your sleep cycle and the traffic condition. Uh, to your workplace. You say good morning to your voice assistant, which greets you back and tells you the weather, the news, and your schedule for the day. It also plays some music, suggests some outfit for you to wear, and orders coffee from your favorite cafe. You get ready for the day and use your smart mirror, which can give you personalized feedback on your appearance, health, and mood. You head to work, hop into your self-driving car, which takes you to the office using an optimized route based on traffic, weather, and your schedule while you relax and listen to music. Upon reaching your building, you've used uh, the, you know, the, the automation, the AI there recognizes your face and unlocks the door, and you can now enter the building. You use your smart assistant to check in your emails, draft responses, and schedule meetings. Lunch break, you ask your smartphone to recommend restaurants. And after lunch, you return to your office and work on some projects that require creativity and problem-solving skills. Your AI assistant helps you brainstorm ideas, find relevant information, and generate, generate content. You also collaborate with some colleagues who are working remotely using an AI video conferencing tool, which creates realistic avatars and holograms of them. You feel like you are in the same room with them. You finish your work and head home. You use an AI fitness app, which tracks your physical activity and health data. It also gives you person personalized feedback and suggestions for improving your well being. You have dinner with your family or also using AI devices and services. You go to bed and say good night to your voice assistant, which turns off the light and sets the temperature for optimal sleep. It also plays some soft music and probably even read you a bedtime story that it wrote for you. You fall asleep peacefully, dreaming of what tomorrow will bring. Cool, isn't it? Next slide, please. But do you realize the amount of energy that AI had to consume to provide these conveniences? AI and sustainability, is that an oxymoron? Let me address that very valid question first. Most of you know that AI needs massive computing power to learn and do what it's supposed to do, which means it uses many servers, heating up Earth even more. But sustainable AI, as alluded to by Dr. Rilio a while ago, a recent initiative to integrate greater societal and environmental considerations in the design, development, and deployment of AI systems across life cycle. In other words, it helps us maximize the benefits of this, of this powerful technology while minimizing its risks and carbon footprint. Next slide, please. In 20, last year, Microsoft used 1.7 billion gallons of water, which is up 228% from 2017. To put that in perspective, that's enough water to actually fill up more than 2,500 Olympic-sized swimming pools. The tech giant's rising water consumption is being driven in part by its development of AI tools, which rely on data center and systems that need to be cooled down with water on a regular basis. While companies like Microsoft, who is actually a major equity holder in OpenAI, are planning to restore water, more water to the environment than they used by 2030, the rapid ascent of resource thirsty gen or generative AI tools could actually complicate these efforts. So next slide, please. 
Innovation is essential to drive the country's competitiveness and ensure the health, ensure the health and well-being of its citizens. Innovation is indispensable to achieve the overarching objectives of twin green and digital transition. A twin transition approach recognizes that there is a huge and largely untapped opportunity for technology and data to drive sustainability goals. Greening off and by digitalization is actually the sweet spot we should all aspire for where digital amplifies sustainability. Let me repeat that. Greening off and by digitalization is the sweet spot that we should all aspire for where digital meets amplifies sustainability. How can the Philippines take advantage of these opportunities and become a significant player in the global twin transition market. Next slide, please. This is where the Philippine Innovation Act come into play and hopefully drive locally developed innovations to, develop, to help address these opportunities. The Philippine Innovation Act was signed into law by the then President Rodrigo, Rodrigo Duterte on April 2019, adopting innovation as a digital, as a vital component rather, of the country's development policies and is closely knitted with the outcomes and strategies of the Philippine Development Plan 2023-2028. Next slide, please. These are the specific objectives of the Act. Promote a culture of strategic planning and innovation, improve innovation governance, encourage entrepreneurial attitude, explore and promote and protect traditional knowledge, remove obstacles to innovation, strengthen partnerships, strengthen MSMEs, and finally eliminate fragmented and siloed approaches of innovation policies and programs in the country. The law mandated the creation of the National Innovation Council. What is the role of the innovation of the National Innovation Council? Next slide, please. Next slide. Section 6 provides for the creation of the National Innovation Council, or NIC, a 25-member body mandated to develop the country's innovation goals, priorities, and long-term national strat innovation strategy. The NIC is chaired by the president. The NEDA secretary serves as vice chairperson and is joined by 16 cabinet secretaries as ex-official ex members and seven executive members from the private sector. Business, MSMEs, research, scientific communities such as climate change. I actually represent the business sector. Next slide, please. The NIC is task two. Well, we have a long list here and I don't want to bother you with all these, uh, with these things, but let me just highlight three very important uh, functions of the NIC. Develop the country's strategic vision and goals for innovation. Develop the country's innovation strategies. And let me highlight this. Establish and ad administer the innovation fund. Right now, the, the law stays, says that uh, it should be at least 1 billion pesos revolving fund. Revolving. Okay. And this is separate from the startup grants that are actually being provided for by... Uh, the three agencies, uh, DTI, DOST, and my former agency, DICT. Next slide, please. During the fifth NIC meeting chaired uh, last, that was last uh, June 30, chaired by the president, the National Innovation Agenda and Strategy, uh, Strategy document was actually approved by the council. The National Innovation Agenda details the country's 10-year vision, long-term goals and strategies to improve the innovation governance on the priority areas identified by the National Innovation Council, as well as developing the monitoring matrix, which contains indicator statements and targets to be achieved. It was drafted and co-created by both public and private stakeholders. Next slide, please. To name a few, we have participants from Union Bank, Snyder Electric, Manila Water, Philippine Business for Education, IBM, Philippine Industrial Estate Association, RTI International, Philippine Rural Reconstruction 
Movement, Angkas, IBPAP, Design Analytics Technology, and the different chamber of commerce, chambers of commerce of uh, uh, the, the regions from up north to down south in Mindanao. Next slide, please. This is actually the National Innovation uh, Agenda Framework. The National Innovation Agenda and Strategic Document was crafted for the implementation of the Philippine Innovation Act and is closely knitted with the outcomes, like I said, the outcomes and strategies of the Philippine Development Plan 2023-2028. Our programs will be guided by the National Innovation Agenda Framework, which specifies the 10 focus areas, okay, learning and education up to uh, blue economy and water. Digitalization and sustainability strategies cut across all the areas of focus. Next slide, please. In an era marked by environmental challenges, innovative solutions are imperative for fostering a more sustainable future. Through advancements in green digital technologies and sustainable practices, we can address pressing issues such as climate change, resource scarcity and pollution. This not only safeguards our planet, but also spurs the development of eco-friendly industries that hold the potential to actually reshape the economy. Nations that prioritize R&D and innovation are better positioned to excel in the global stage. This translates into a stronger economic standing as innovation nations become hubs for investment, trade, and knowledge exchange. The current twin innovation landscape presents as well countless opportunities for innovation. Considering the unique twin transition challenges the Philippines is facing, now is the best time for us to work together to develop solutions to address them and make the Philippines become a significant player in the twin transition innovation space. Next slide, please. Ladies and gentlemen, the significance of an innovation-driven twin transition for sustainability cannot be overstated. Let us embrace the transformative power of innovation by investing in better education, research, and infrastructure that lay the groundwork for innovative thinking. Let us support the startups, scientists, and inventors who dare to dream big and challenge the status quo. By doing so, we not only ensure our economic growth, but also leave a better place for possibilities of a uh, better place full of possibilities for generations to come. Let me leave you with a quotation from Albert Einstein saying, no problem can be solved by the same level of thinking that actually created it. Okay, thank you for having me here. <laughs>